live at Goodwill. I know, isn't it wonderful? Visit goodwill.org slash Halloween. Then see the Adams Family in theaters. All I remember is applying my brakes. And then, honestly, waking up in the hospital three weeks later. I remember doctors, certain doctors saying, well, he might not be able to walk again. And if you're driving a car, look two ways for a bike. It, it never hurts. It really never hurts, because we're out there. Uh, please, please watch for motorcycles. Big Bang character prototype, Amy. When I'm around Sheldon, I feel like my loins are on fire. PhD in seduction. You may notice some tingling. I'm counting on it. The Big Bang Theory, five nights a week. Brittany Tulis, part of your home team. Live from Fox 39. And your home team. Eyewitness News in the Morning starts now. Technology can be a useful tool, but when it comes to kids, there are dangers. The tips and experts say parents need to know to protect their child. And the state line has seen a lot of storms and heavy rain lately. The areas to look out for due to recent flash flooding. Plus, Cementa Academy opens its doors to showcase their organization, the benefits Alita says the program has and the community can gain from each other. Good morning. It's currently 7 o'clock on the dot. I'm Brett Brooks. And good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining your home team this morning. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. We're one day away from the weekend, but happy Thursday to everyone. We almost made it. Yeah, we're almost to the weekend. And, you know, we started off with some rain last night. But as you head out the door this morning, don't need the rain gear because the rain is out of here. But you might need a light jacket because today's actually going to feel a little bit on the cool side. And it did feel a little bit cooler when I was walking out today. Yeah, same here. So let's take a look at what's going on out there this morning. A little bit of a foggy start because of that rain that moved through last night. So take your time out on the roads this morning. Otherwise, temperatures have fallen down into the upper 50s in most spots right now in Rochelle 58 degrees light breeze out of the northwest at 13 miles per hour and we're feeling comfortable this morning with dew points in the upper 50s but the story still remains with the flooding that's going on across the rivers here in the state line looking at a flood warning for the Rock River going all the way down into Byron and also a flood warning for the Pecatonica in Freeport and Sherland. If you do come across a flooded roadway, make sure to find a different route to your destination. So here's a look at satellite radar. The rain moving out, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies and that patchy fog. We'll stick with the cloud cover for the morning and then might see a lingering shower, but otherwise we'll see a few peaks of sun for the afternoon. Maybe a little bit breezy at times, but that's why we keep our weather risk on the low side. So for the morning commute, we're going to keep the lights green despite the patchy fog out there. Just make sure to take your time out on the roads. And then as we head into the evening, we'll see partly sunny skies, so don't not, not much in the way of you driving home later on today. So here's a look at our daily planner. Mostly cloudy skies will turn a few peaks of sun by the afternoon. Looking at sweater weather today with highs in the low 60s. Let's take a look now at our first warn interactive radar sponsored by Paper Recovery Service. The rain has moved out of the region, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies, but dry time is in store for us, especially going into our Friday. I'll have more on that coming up in the first warn weather forecast. That dry time is going to be critical for us, too. Yeah, especially with all the rainfall that we've gotten, definitely good to see that uh, we're, we're not going to have any rain up until the weekend. All right, thank you, Joey. We'll You're talk welcome. with you a little bit later. Awesome. Technology can be an important tool for kids, but there are dangers. A few wrong clicks could impact a child for the rest of their life. Reporter Dylan Soraki joined young Freeport students Wednesday morning as they learned how important it is to be careful online. The average internet predator has 250 victims. A startling number from cybercrime's detective Richard Wistocki. He says it's important kids know just how dangerous the internet can be. That's where parents come in. There's no such thing as privacy for children that it's their responsibility to go into those social networks and see their videos and pictures and messages. Because if they don't show their kids what to do, somebody else will be. One of the biggest mistakes parents make, Wastocki says, is letting kids lie about their age so they can create a profile on apps like Snapchat and Instagram. Today I asked the kids, how many of you fourth, fifth graders round of 2000? And a third of them raised their hand. Now what happens, you have nine-year-olds posing as 19-year-olds, who's going to talk to them? Adults. Who's going to send them pictures and videos that are inappropriate? Adults. Who's going to ask them for pictures and videos? Adults. So we are risking our children's innocence. Wistocki knows kids will sign up for apps and sites they're too young to be on. He suggested following this rule of thumb, the three Ps. That's priest, 
principal, and parent. If a student is thinking about posting something online and doesn't want any of those three to see it, they should avoid posting. Children in the young grades, even first and second grade, uh, get into exper experiences that they don't know how to handle. Beth Maskell is the executive director for Voices of Stevenson County, a domestic violence and sexual abuse center. She helped organize this presentation. She knows firsthand it's important for kids to learn how to protect themselves at a young age. We were excited that we could um, kind of do some outreach to the youth about what happens online um, because so many of the people that we see after they've been victims of um, you know predators online um, we want to find a way to get them before that happens. In Freeport for your home team I'm Dylan Soraki. Parents also make a common mistake when they think certain devices are safer for kids than others. You can learn more about that by finding this story on our website, mystateline.com. A family is forced out of their home after a fire early this morning. It happened on Lacken Terrace near State and Central just before 2.30. Here's a look at the scene when crews arrived. Rockford Fire tweeted, about 15 minutes later, the fire was under control and all residents were safe and uninjured. Officials say there is heavy damage on all three floors. And here's a look at the house now. Two adults and two children are being displaced. No word yet on what caused this fire. The man suspected of killing three people on a party bus in Rockford appears in court. Raheem King requested a change of venue for his trial. His lawyer argued for the move yesterday. King faces 126 counts of murder. Prosecutors say he used an assault-style rifle to shoot and kill Dejan Sistrunk, Martavius, uh, and Sean Anderson in April 2018. It happened inside of a charter bus near Auburn Street and Johnson Avenue. The judge should give her decision on relocation for the trial October 25th. A Rockford woman will spend the next two years behind bars after crashing into another car while impaired. Shelly Gibbons pled guilty to driving under the influence involving great bodily harm. She'll be on mandatory supervised release for one year once she's out. In January 2018, Givens drove the wrong way on Kilburn Avenue north of Auburn and hit a Subaru while speeding. A passenger in the Subaru was taken to a Rockford hospital for treatment. The victim survived. Recent storms and heavy rain caused problems across the state line. In Stevenson County, Business Route 20 west of Freeport has water on it. Several rural roads are also flooded from overflowing creeks and the Pecatonica River. The Peck is currently in moderate flood stage. Here is Craig Park in Freeport. The Yellow Creek is rising into the parking lot. The ramp to a dock is covered as well. Flooding causes issue in Winnebago County, too. This video is from Hyanaga Forest Preserve. Signs and picnic tables are nearly submerged. There's also a lot of standing water. The Rock River in Winnebago, Rock, and Ogle counties is underwater and under a no-wake order. It's expected to reach moderate flood stage as well. High water has forced some areas of the parks to close. Police say Riverside Park in Roscoe is shut down until further notice. In consumer news, Walmart pulls a popular heartburn drug off the shelves. The retailer will stop selling Zantac. CVS and Walgreens already suspended sales of acid-reducing reduce, medicines with one atidine. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says the drug contains low levels of an impurity which may cause cancer. However, the FDA has not called on people to stop taking it. Walmart says customers can return the affected products for a refund. A new study shows the upcoming holiday season could be a record breaker. The Salesforce report suggests the U.S. will hit a new high of $136 billion in sales, a 13% jump from last year. $8 billion is coming from Cyber Monday alone. There are six fewer shopping days between Cyber Week and Christmas. Early bird shopping is expected to increase by 22%. A state line nonprofit working with students with disabilities gives the tour of its facilities. Mensa Academy Northwest held an open house yesterday. The organization works with school districts who require services for special needs children. Administrators say they have a low staffed student ratio. It allows them to have a personalized learning environment for each child. School leaders say it gets students to buy in and allows them to engage in their learning experience. We are always looking to create and foster partnerships with our community members and inviting them in to see what we do, uh, where their children are going, and how we kind of program to fit the needs of those children is very important. The Mentor Academy has schools across Illinois and Arizona. The time now is 7 8 coming up on Eyewitness News. 
the Department of Agriculture is looking to make big changes to the pork industry. The demands from consumer and labor advocates in response to the danger. And Joey has the forecast. And temperatures will remain cool for today after that cold front yesterday. And we're even going to see upper 50s by the time we reach the weekend. I'll have more on that coming up. First, warm weather forecast. Stay tuned. We keep getting all these letters from all these insurance companies through the mail. It is so confusing. You need to call the insurance lady. I thought we could do this on our own, but it's still just so confusing. I told you, call the insurance lady. The Insurance Lady and Associates are your local insurance brokers. They're contracted and certified by more than 15 major insurance companies and can help you find the best policies for the Affordable Care Act plans, Medicare, prescription drug plans, final expenses, and long-term care. The Insurance Lady and Associates, always there for you even after the ink is dry. Have a vehicle for sale? LKQ Pick Your Part is always buying used cars and trucks. We buy all used vehicles, running or not. So pull it, push it, or drag it to an LKQ Pick Your Part near you. Call 1-800-962-2277 to sell us your vehicle. Or log on to LKQPickYourPart.com to get a free quote. Get top dollar today for your used vehicle at LKQ Pick Your Part. Call 1-800-962-2277 today. I'm Greg Dent. Welcome to Stateline Carpet and Flooring. We invite you to shop the Stateline's largest showroom where we make shopping easy. Come see the area's largest selection of in-stock flooring. Price is so low, you have to see it to believe it. Right now, buy flooring starting at 69 cents per square foot with two years, 0% interest-free financing. Stop into Stateline Carpet and Flooring, a new way to do flooring. Located behind Lino's in Rockford. It's a party! It's the grand opening of our 29th store. Save on every item in every store with 29% off hot buys and a $290 gift card. Even enter to win a free room of furniture. Plus, free financing up to five years. Celebrate with savings. It's the grand opening sale, up to 29% off. A $290 gift card. Plus, win a room. Going on now at The Room Place. It's so you! Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. As you make your way out the door for your Thursday morning, definitely take your time out on the roads. Fog has developed after the rain moved out this morning, as you see here on a Mercy L Sky Track camera. Over the Rochelle Airport, pretty dense fog down in Rochelle, so slow down and take extra time as you travel this morning. So here's a look at current conditions down in Rochelle, 58 degrees. We do have a bit of a wind down there out of the west at 13 miles per hour, but dew points remain comfortably in the upper. 50. So here's a look at temperatures across the board this morning. 57 up in Janesville, 58 down in Rochelle, 59 in Rockford, 56 in Freeport, and 54 degrees out west in Galena. So satellite radar shows you the rain moving out early this morning, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies and that patchy dense fog that has developed this morning. As we take a wider look at satellite radar, this low pressure did bring the rain overnight last night, and that has since pushed off towards the east. Could see a lingering shower as the system moves out towards the east as well, but otherwise, we're going to be looking Looking at a dry Thursday, and that's because of this high pressure system that's ejecting into the upper Great Plains. This will continue to track towards the east, coming over the region by tonight, and that's going to even keep us dry as we go into our Friday as well. So here's a look at Futurecast planning out your day today. We'll be mostly cloudy for the rest of the morning, and then as we head into the afternoon, that's when we'll see winds switch to out of the northwest. That's going to be bringing in some dry air, so we could see some peaks of sun by the time we reach the afternoon and evening. Could be a little bit breezy as well, but we're going to be dry for the remainder remainder of our Thursday. Going into tonight, we're going to be dry as well with partly cloudy skies and because of how dry the atmosphere will be overhead, temperatures are going to be dropping down into the low 40s. So we could be seeing our first frost of the season as we head into our Friday morning. Then as we head into the rest of our Friday, that high pressure system continuing to keep us dry. We'll be partly sunny tomorrow and maybe a little bit breezy in spots, but temperatures are going to remain on the cool side in the upper 50s. So make sure as you head out the door tomorrow morning, definitely grab a light jacket and keep it with you throughout the Day. It's going to be a chilly day across the state line. But nonetheless, it's going to be dry. And then we're going to be dry going into our Friday night before we see that next system come in uh, going into Saturday morning, giving us our next chance for some rain here in the state line. Now, that dry time is critical because we do have flood alerts for most spots along the rivers this morning because of the recent rainfall. We have a flood warning in effect for the Rock River going all the way down into Byron, then a flood advisory from Dixon into Sterling. And then the Pecatonica River in Freeport and Sherland is under a flood warning as well. And that does stretch through the
through the weekend and also into the start of next week. So here's a look at current flood levels. The Pecatonica in Freeport and Sherland is at moderate flood stage, now over 14 uh, feet of so far. Then as we take a look at the Rock River, now over 10 feet, and this is just short of the moderate flood stage. It's forecasted to go into moderate flood stage as we go into the rest of our day today. So looking at moderate flood stage for the Pecatonica in Freeport and Sherland, minor for right now in Latham Park and Rockton for the Rock River, but that's forecasted to go into moderate flood stage as we head into the rest of our day today. So looking at some flood safety tips for you, do not attempt to drive through any flooded roadways. One foot of water can float vehicles. Two feet of rushing water can carry most vehicles, including SUVs, and do not try to drive around any barricades that's, that's blocking a flooded roadway. So today's forecast, 62 degrees, a cloudy start will lead to a few peaks of sun by the afternoon. Maybe a bit breezy at times as highs go to 62 degrees. Then tonight, 43 degrees, definitely a chilly night here in the state line. Few passing clouds and a light breeze. We could see winds gusts as high as 15 miles per hour. But going into the day tomorrow, staying dry with high near 58. Some sunshine in the forecast going into the weekend. But then as we head into Saturday, that's when we'll see our next chance for some rain throughout the day. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll be dry going into the start of next week as a high pressure controls the region into Wednesday. 43 is going to be really cold. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a chilly start to the morning tomorrow, so definitely grab a light jacket, but don't need the rain gear for tomorrow, but I would definitely have a sweater or light jacket before heading out. A light jacket? You can probably need like a coat at that point. <laughs> <laughs> for a coat or something? Going yeah. to that level already? You know, I had my first. Yeah, I, d I already had my sweatpants on this morning because, you know, feeling comfortable with all the rain moving through. Yeah, yeah but definitely tomorrow, if you need a light or a heavy jacket, definitely do so. <laughs> all right, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. The time now is 7.15. Coming up on Eyewitness News, local students learn the critical role farmers play in our everyday lives. Some hope to experience solves a problem in the ag industry. I'm Raquel Martin in Washington. The Department of Agriculture is making sweeping changes to the way pork slaughterhouses are inspected. Find out why labor and food safety advocates say it's bad news for public health. Online on our Washington, D.C. Bureau page. Why pre-plan your funeral? It gives you and your family peace of mind. You relieve your loved ones of the added stress of many decisions to be made quickly during one of the most difficult days of their lives. Making your wishes known is a true blessing for your family. Your plans are easily transferable anywhere if your circumstances ever change. For more information or to receive our free personal wishes organizer, call us or visit us at FitzgeraldFuneralHome.com today. The World Power Wheel Standing Champion. Experience the one-of-a-kind spectacle yourself at Byron Dragway in Byron, Illinois on Sunday, October 6th. Gates open at 9 a.m., eliminations at 10 a.m. Two sessions of the 25th Annual World Power Wheel Standing Championships at 2 and 4 p.m. Tickets are $30 for adults, $10 for kids 6 through 12. Parking is free. Visit ByronDragway.com. This is amazing. With moderate to severe ulcerative colitis. Are you okay? Even when I was there, I never knew when my symptoms would keep us apart. So I talked to my doctor about Humira. I learned Humira can help get and keep UC under control when other medications haven't worked well enough. And it helps people achieve control that lasts, so you could experience few or no symptoms. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Be there for you and them. Ask your gastroenterologist about Humera. With Humera, control is possible. Welcome back. Consumer and labor advocates say the Department of Agriculture is endangering millions of Americans by changing federal oversight at pork slaughterhouses. And consumer and labor groups say the Agriculture Department has its facts wrongs. Raquel Martin is keeping you connected to the nation's capital. Food safety and labor advocates say new U.S. Agriculture Department rules could jeopardize the safety of thousands of pork processing workers and endanger the health of millions of Americans. We know that 
pork already makes hundreds of thousands of people sick every year. Now Thomas Grimion with the Consumer Federation of America fears those numbers will spike. The USDA plans to slash federal inspections at pork slaughterhouses and rely on pork processors to inspect themselves. It would also allow pork processors to speed up production lines. By increasing line speeds, they are going to sacrifice the health and safety of 90,000 pork slaughter workers across this country. Debbie Berkowitz, a worker safety expert with the Law Project, says the USDA is ignoring decades-old research that shows high-speed processing creates danger for workers. You can't sacrifice worker safety just to increase profits. The Department of Agriculture says its new rules will save millions of dollars and improve food safety. The new rules are based off of a 20-year-old study that food safety advocates say is unreliable. Illinois Democrat Senator Dick Durbin, who once worked on a pork processing line, says, quote, the USDA relied on sketchy data to justify a major inspection change that could create unsafe working environments. At Durbin's request, the USDA Inspector General's office is now looking into how the department developed its rules. For now, the rules are set to go into effect December 2nd. From Fox 2's Washington Bureau, I'm Raquel Martin, Fox 2 News. We now want to hear from our Morning Mug Club. There's an exciting event going on this weekend. There is. Yes, there yes, is. Yes, there is. Rockford is hosting its first ever Olympic trials. Ooh. And... We have free tickets for Saturday's table tennis trials. All you have to do to enter is just leave us a comment. Absolutely. So comment on our Morning Mug Club post on Facebook, facebook.com slash News, and tell us what your favorite Olympic sport to watch is. One lucky winner will win four tickets. Here's a look at some of the comments so far. Ooh, that's a good one. Winter, that's what they said with you. Figure skating, summer <laughs> gymnastics. Not bad, Katie. We'll be right back with your top stories and a look at your forecast next. school football action you need watch the sports connection every saturday on rockford's my network tv and fox 39 it's Midnight Madness at Ashley Home Store. This Friday from noon to midnight, save up to 30% off select items store-wide or pay no interest for five years with no minimum purchase and no money down. 12 hours only this Friday at Ashley Home Store. As time goes on, the world has changed. And if you have been injured in an accident, you want the law firm that is committed to the same principles as it was over 60 years ago. Since 1958, the attorneys of Tuit Law have been fighting for the rights of the injured and disabled in the Rockford area. If you have been hurt at work, in an accident, or denied disability, call us at 815-965-5777 and get to it. To it Law. The Icehawks have three huge games in October. Saturday night, October 12th at 6. A matinee on Monday, October 14th at 1. And Friday night, October 18th at 7. Get your Icehawks tickets right now at icehawks.com. Tonight, the fight for the NFC West is on. Jared Goff and the star-studded Rams square off against the electrifying Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. What a throw! Rams, Seahawks. Thursday night. Football tonight on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. Massive savings this Friday at Ashley Home Store's Midnight Madness. 12 hours only. Save up to 30% off select items store-wide. Or pay no interest for five years with no minimum purchase and no money down. This Friday only at Ashley Home Store. Good morning, I'm Brett Brooks, and here's a look at your top stories. The online world can be a dangerous place for kids, but there are ways to protect them. That was a message for parents at a presentation in Freeport. Richard Wistocki is a cybercrime detective with the Kane County Sheriff's Office. One of his tips is to follow what he calls the three Ps. It stands for priest, principal, and parent. If a student is thinking about posting something online and does not want any of those three to see it, that might be a sign to not post it. Another common mistake is letting kids lie about their age to create a profile on social media apps. 
The man suspected of killing three people on a party bus in Rockford appears in court. Raheem King has requested a change of venue for his trial. His lawyer argued for the move yesterday. King faces 126 counts of murder. Prosecutors say he used an assault-style rifle to shoot and kill Dejan Sistrunk, Martavius Blake, and Sean Anderson in April 2018. It happened inside of a charter bus near Auburn and Johnston Avenue. The judge is expected to give her decision on a relocation for the trial by October 25th. And Joey's here with the forecast. Good morning, Joey. Yeah, good morning, Brett. As you make your way out the door, make sure to take it slow out on the roads today. A bit of fog has developed behind the rain that we got overnight last night, as you see in Rochelle and our SkyTrack camera. Temperature-wise, though, we're in the upper 50s for most of us, 59 in Rockford, 55 in Monroe, and 54 in Galena. So taking a look at satellite and radar, just mostly cloudy skies overhead of that patchy fog that has developed this morning. A cloudy start will lead to a few peaks of sun by the afternoon. Going to definitely be a drier afternoon and a bit breezy at times with a high near 62. 43 degrees tonight, definitely a chilly night, definitely will need a light or jacket or sweater before you head out the door tomorrow morning. Back to you, Brett. Thank you, Joey. For those of you watching on Channel 17, Good Morning America continues after the break. And for everyone else, more of your only local newscast on Fox 39. Get top dollar for your guns at Marengo Guns. Yes, they will pay you top dollar for your old guns. They have over 2,000 handguns, long rifles in stock, plus all the ammo and accessories. Marengo Guns on Highway 20 in Marengo. Oh, hey, Mr. World here at the world's fastest zip line. Oh, boy. Going this fast is kind of like shopping at Eyeglass World, the world's best way to buy glasses. Because <laughs> Eyeglass World's got in-store labs, so they get my glasses done the same day instead of leaving me hanging. With glasses available the same day, Eyeglass World is the world's best way to buy glasses. Come get two pairs for $78. And try our new contact lens subscription for the world's best way to buy contacts. Hi, I'm Holly Robinson-Pete. And I'm Rodney Pete. And after 16 years in the NFL, it came as no surprise that knee surgery might be in my future. And when the doctor said Rodney needed to lose weight before surgery, we knew that Lipazine could help him lose four times more weight. It's America's number one weight loss supplement. I've already lost 30 pounds and four pant sizes. I didn't need a prescription or meal plan. I've lost 10 pounds. I have more energy, more stamina. We eat our favorite foods and still lose four times more weight. I'm very impressed with Rodney's weight loss. His blood pressure and cholesterol have really improved. I recommend Lipazine because it's made from the rare konjac root, which contains glucomannan, a very safe and effective weight loss supplement. Lipazine has no harmful side effects. No caffeine, no jitters, no counting calories. No cleanses. No starved diets. No boot camps. Nothing in your lifestyle needs to change. Just add Lipazine. In a clinical study, people were not asked to change their lifestyle and simply add lipazine. As a result, they lost not just twice the weight, not three times, but they lost four times more weight just by adding lipazine. And 78% of that weight loss was fat, not water, but fat. Rodney and I guarantee that you will lose weight or your money back. Can we say that? Yep, guaranteed or your money back. So get lipazine and lose four times more weight. Now you can lose four times more weight. Just add Lipazine for only $29.95. Call right now and we'll double your order for free and ship it free too. And for a limited time, we'll double the size of each bottle for free. So now you have four times the Lipazine for just $29.95. Plus, you'll get Metaboa Plus to help boost your energy and metabolism. But you must call. Call 800-746-5712. That's 800-746-5712. 800-746-5712. The Monsters of the Midway meet London. The Bears will be playing ball there this Sunday against the Raiders. We'll preview that matchup. Plus, can the Bears continue to win with Chase Daniel, a quarterback? And the Hallmarkist shares his insights this weekend on the Bear Blitz. Management said they wanted a commercial that shows everywhere the My State Line mobile app keeps you connected to the state line. So, here you go. The planet Earth. My State Line mobile. Available to everyone on Earth. Not available on Mars. Welcome to the Mel Robbins Show. You've had this pattern of trashing yourself. We're going to break it today. The Mel Robbins Show is an experience. Live from Fox 39 and your home team, Eyewitness News in the Morning starts now.
Rockford is gearing up to host its first ever Olympic trials. The expectations organizers have for the event. And police have a busy afternoon after responding to two car accidents within hours. The common factor investigators say both crashes had. State line residents get hands on in the classroom. The experience could lead some to a career in the fields or a laboratory. It's this week's Education Matters. Good morning, it's currently 729. I'm Brett Brooks. And good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Welcome to Thursday. Happy Friday Eve, Joey. Yes, happy Friday Eve. At first, when we were watching the Olympic video that we just saw, the little tease there, I thought the kid yes. first hit the ping pong ball with his head to start the game. I was like, that's some impressive skill right there. I've seen some impressive um, starts. Like serves, Bruce Lee with serves. the nunchucks? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I was watching some trials with their serves are very impressive, the way they started off. Yeah, so if you don't know about our Morning Mug Club post yet, we're asking you, what is your favorite Olympic sport? So definitely yes. go and comment on that. And we could see your comment coming up uh, in the next half hour or so. And you, get, you could get a chance to win big, too. Yes, absolutely, especially with the event this weekend. Let's get right down to what's going on outside this morning. Taking a live look at our SkyTrack camera down in Rochelle. Definitely a foggy start if you're heading out the door and onto the roads right now. Uh, we're going to see this fog linger on into the mid-morning hours. We do have mostly cloudy skies overhead of that fog. And temperatures that start out are in the upper 50s. Right now in Rochelle, 58 degrees do have a light breeze out of the west, 12 miles per hour, and dew points comfortably as well in the upper 50s. So here's a look at the fog for right now. Five mile visibility up in Janesville, also down in Rochelle, five in Monroe, two down in Sterling, and five out in Galena. So make sure to take extra time as you travel on the roads this morning. Otherwise, we have mostly cloudy skies after the rain from last night. We're going to keep our weather risk on the low side today. Cloudy start, maybe a lingering morning shower will give way to a few peaks of sun and breezy conditions for the afternoon. So the commute cast, we're going to keep the lights green for the morning commute despite the patchy fog out there. Shouldn't be too dense for you to drive through this morning. And then as we head into the evening commute, partly sunny skies and dry conditions will keep the lights green as well as you make your way home later today. So here's a look at the daily planner, mostly cloudy to start, and then we'll see a few peaks of sun by the afternoon. It's gonna, we're going to be highs in the low 60s. Now let's take a look now at our first war and interactive radar sponsored by Pay for Recovery Service. Not much showing up this morning. Most of the rain has moved out. We're actually going to stay dry for a good time or for a good portion of the rest of the work week. I'll have more on that coming up in the first Warren weather forecast. It's nice to finally be dry and get some relief. Yeah, get the rain out of here. Definitely going to see some sunshine. All right, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. The city of Rockford prepares to host its first ever Olympic trials. This Saturday's tournament marks the first ever table tennis trials in the entire state. Reporter Karina Prada spoke with some organizers and players who say they have high expectations for the weekend. Serving some serious table tennis game. The BMO Harris Bank Center is set to host Rockford's first ever Olympic trials. The Rockford Area Convention and Visitors Bureau says it's been working to bring higher profile sports tourism events to the Forest City. We can leverage that success for future arena partnership opportunities, other future Olympic trials events. Uh, of course, we're looking at uh, college national championships still and some professional events as well. Team USA and Team Canada will face off to qualify for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. Players say the Forest City is an ideal location for the trials. The mood is more calm. Everything is more set back. As if you're in a big city, you're tempted to do many stuff, not relax. So I think Rockford is a good place to have it. Canada's Jeremy Hazin is hoping to make it to his first Olympics. At the moment, we have a decent team. But at the moment, they're stronger than us. But we are here to win, to try our best, and hopefully pull out a win here. Although Team USA's Lily Zhang played in London and Rio, she says trials are more nerve-wracking than the main event. It is everything you've worked for, and it's to go to this Olympics, which is like the biggest honor in the world and kind of a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Once the event is over, players look forward to being tourists. If we have a day or some time to really go out, explore the city, you know, try new things, meet new people. So yeah, hopefully we'll have that time to, to do that in Rockford. The RACVB says it's in it to spin it and hopes to have Rockford support this weekend. We want to deliver a great experience for the Federation, for the athletes that come through here. They will literally witness the highest level of table tennis that you can witness anywhere in the world. That's Karina Prado reporting. To celebrate the historic sports tourism milestone, a free pregame street festival will be held downtown before the matches on Saturday. For more details on those festivities, visit mystateline.com. A Rafa woman will spend the next two years behind bars after crashing into another car while impaired. Shelly Givens pled guilty to driving under the influence involving great bodily harm. She'll be on mandatory supervised release for one year after she's out. 
In January 2018, Givens drove the wrong way on Kilburn Avenue north of Auburn. She hit a Subaru while speeding. A passenger in the Subaru was taken to a Rockford hospital for treatment. The victim survived. Rockford first responders are kept busy by a couple of car crashes. This was the scene at North Central in Sherman around 9.30 yesterday morning. Police say a driver was heading south on Central when they lost control. They hit a curb and wrapped around a utility pole. You can see the rear end of the car sitting on the hood. Two people were inside. Both were taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police told us one of them is in stable condition. A few hours later, around 1, a second crash happened at 11th Street and 15th Avenue. The driver of the silver Chevy Impala was heading east on 15th when police say the car drifted into the opposite lane and hit the minivan. The van spun and slammed into a pole. There was heavy damage to the driver's side. The driver had to be cut out. Only minor injuries were reported. A Democratic presidential hopeful has a medical scare, and the former Dallas cop convicted of murder learns how long she'll be behind bars. These are some of the top stories across the nation. Amber Geiger was sentenced to 10 years in prison after facing life. The sentence comes a day after she was found guilty of murdering Botham John in his own apartment last year. She claimed she mistook it for her own and believed he was an intruder. Some activists outside the courtroom thought the sentence was too light. John's brother delivered an emotional statement in court after the verdict was read. He forgave Geiger and then hugged her. She began serving her sentence immediately. Senator Bernie Sanders takes a break from the campaign trail. The Democratic presidential candidate had some chest pain at an event last night. Doctors found a blocked artery. They placed two stents to open it up. Sanders tweeted thanks for the well wishes and said he's feeling good. He also used a moment to say he was fortunate to have good health care and push his Medicare for All plan. No word when Sanders will return back to the campaign trail. The Belvedere Police Department is supporting the fight against breast cancer, and you can help them. The department is selling these t-shirts. The back of the shirt says, together we win. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Belvedere's police chief is trying to raise $5,000 for his Real Men Wear Pink campaign. If you would like to buy a shirt, go make a donation, find the story using our My State Line mobile app. Officers use a morning staple to get to know those they protect and serve. It's called Coffee with a Cop. The nationwide event is designed to connect residents with their local police. Winnebago County Sheriff's deputies were on hand at By the Dozen Bakery in McChesney Park. Yesterday morning, there was free coffee and conversations. Community members could discuss issues or simply get to know officers a little better. We just uh, are able to find out what's going on in their neighborhoods, um, what we can do better, what we're doing good, um, just to have some conversation where we're, we're actually people and we're just not out there arresting people or pulling people over or you see us on accidents or see us on the worst times. It's nice to see us on the good times. This was the fourth year for Coffee with the Cop. Rockford, Duran, and Beloit police also took part. Experts believe increasing agriculture education in the classroom will lead to more students pursuing college agricultural degrees. That's why one local farmer took it upon himself to make sure the ag department at a local junior high school did not close. It's this week's Education Matters. Jeff Svensson is an agriculture teacher at Paw Paw Junior High. He's more than qualified for the position with plenty of practical experience. We farm about 1,300 acres of corn and soybeans, and then we feed out about 20 head of cattle that I sell locally. Svensson, or Mr. Jeff to his students, got certified to teach ag in order to keep the high school from losing its FFA program. He believes all kids should learn about the diverse field. There are so many opportunities available to the students uh, as they grow up. I mean, it ranges not only from farmers, but we need chemists, you need salesmen, uh, all those different types of jobs. Katie Pratt shares Svensson's passion for agriculture. She's the literacy coordinator for Lee County Ag in the Classroom. Many of the students in Lee County live in rural America. Pratt wants them to appreciate the world around them. And they go to school in small towns and they're surrounded by cornfields and bean fields and cattle and pigs. Learn about that. Um, understand why it's important to our communities and then at the same time, why it's important to our economy and our world and how that's where your food comes from and your fiber and your fuel and your feeds. Mr. Jeff's students are starting small, learning what it takes to grow plants. 
I'm growing some types of flowers, some types of vegetables, uh, watermelon, and cat grass. I planted a few flowers, a sensitive plant, and like tomatoes. I just thought that they were kind of cool and I could experiment how they grew. Students are learning about the vital role farmers play. I think it's very important what they do. Why? Because because if, if they didn't farm, we wouldn't have corn, we wouldn't have wheat, and we wouldn't have soybeans. Having an actual farmer teaching ag offers a great advantage to students. I give them the, the antidotes and whatnot of what happens on the farm, what really happens. That was Mimi Murphy reporting. Illinois has 77 ag in a classroom county coalitions teaching students about the food and agriculture industry. The time now is 7.39, and coming up next on Eyewitness News, Roquan Smith will be back in the game this Sunday, but people are still questioning his benching during the last game. The response from Coach Nagy during practice yesterday about the incident. And Joey has your forecast. And you might need a light jacket or a sweater before heading out tomorrow morning. Temperatures get really chilly to, chilly to start off our Friday morning. I'll have more on that, plus the flooding coming up in my first warm weather forecast. Stay tuned. at Byron Dragway in Byron, Illinois on Sunday, October 6th. Gates open at 9 a.m., eliminations at 10 a.m. Two sessions of the 25th Annual World Power Wheel Standing Championships at 2 and 4 p.m. Tickets are $30 for adults, $10 for kids 6 through 12. Parking is free. Visit ByronDragway.com. Enjoy authentic Mexican cuisine at Mexico Classico on Broadway. Our unique recipes bring the taste of Mexico to your table. We prepare everything with the finest and freshest ingredients, including fresh guacamole, homemade tortillas, and, of course, margaritas. Stop into Mexico Classico on Broadway today. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. So there are no surprises on your bill. That's the best value in wireless. That works for you? Get unlimited data for just $30 a month with no hidden fees. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. This Halloween... What are you wearing? A pop of color. If you're looking for something creepy, oh, kooky, and altogether ooky, all you have to do is find your local Goodwill store and create a costume as unique as you are. You never know what you'll find. So, what's dark and bitter here rather than yours truly? Halloween comes alive at Goodwill. I know, isn't it wonderful? Visit goodwill.org slash Halloween. Then see the Adams Family in theaters. With the weather changing, now is a good time to have your HVAC checked to make sure your home or business is comfortable, safe, and energy efficient. Local 23 is a union association that employs certified service technicians, which means all our service techs have gone through an extensive five-year training program. They are reliable, they do not work on commission, and will not upsell you on products. They are insured, bonded, and they are on time and on budget. When you want it fixed right the first time, for plumbing, pipe fitting, and HVAC needs, go to fixitforme23.com for a complete contractor list. Meteorologist Joey Marino, part of your home team. Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Still watching for some patchy fog that has formed this morning across some areas, but not so much on our Mercyale SkyTrack camera at Poplar Grove, just dealing with those mostly cloudy skies as the rain has now moved off towards the east. Here's a look at current conditions right now. Temperatures are in the upper 50s, 58 degrees, with a light breeze out of the west at 10 miles per hour. And as you head out the door, dew points are very comfortably as well in the upper 50s. So temperature-wise across the board, 57 up in Janesville, 58 in DeKalb, 59 right now in Rockford, 57 in Freeport, and 54 degrees out west in Galena. Overall, on satellite and radar, we watched those showers move out of the region earlier this morning, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies and some patchy dense fog in some spots. So if you have to be out on the roads this morning and you do encounter any patchy fog, just make sure to take extra caution and also take your time. That low pressure that is that brought the rain overnight last night is now moving off towards the east. Could still see a lingering shower this morning, but otherwise this high pressure system that's being ejected
projected into the Midwest is going to bring us some dry time as we go into not only this afternoon, but also as we head into our Friday as well. So taking a look at Futurecast, planning out your day today. We're going to stick with the cloud cover for the rest of the morning, so mostly cloudy skies. But then as we head into the afternoon, that's when we'll see those winds switch to out of the northwest, bringing in some drier air. And then we'll see a few peaks of sun for the afternoon and evening. It's also going to be a breezy afternoon, but temperatures today will feel much more fall-like in the low 60s. Then as we head into the night tonight, that high-pressure system is going to dry out the atmosphere. So we are going to see temperatures bottom out into the low 40s to start out our Friday morning. So we could see our first frost of the season as we make our way out the door tomorrow morning. Then for the rest of our Friday, we're looking at partly sunny skies, high pressure to the north, keeping us nice and dry for the most part. And then as we head into Friday night and Saturday morning, that's when we'll see our next chance for some rain here in the state line as the system makes its way in from the west. And we'll continue to keep the rain chances throughout the day on Saturday. So keeping you updated with the flooding uh, that's going on with the rivers out there for right now. We do have a flood warning in effect for Rock River into Dixon and then a, a flood advisory from Dixon into Sterling and then the Pecatonica River also has a flood warning with it as well in Freeport and also into Sherland because we are seeing those flood levels go into moderate flood stage for the Pecatonica for right now over 14 feet of water is what the uh, most recent observations were for the Pecatonica in Freeport and also Sherland the Rock River is right now in Latham Park and also in Rockton in minor flood stage but it's forecasted to go into moderate flood stage stage as we carry out our day today. So here's a look at what they're forecasted to be going into the weekend, still at moderate flood stage for the Pecatonic and Freeport and Sherlin, while the Rock River and Latham and also in Rockton is going to be at moderate flood stage as we go into this afternoon. So that keep in, keep in mind if you live across or live right next to a river, if you have to go traveling this morning and do come across a flooded roadway, make sure to find a different route to your destination because two feet of rushing water can carry most vehicles and make sure to not drive around any barricades. So today's forecast, 62 degrees, a cloudy start with a morning shower possible. will give way to a drier afternoon, maybe breezy at times, but we'll have highs in the low 60s. Then tonight dropping down. 43 degrees, definitely a chilly night, so definitely need a light jacket or a sweater before you head out the door tomorrow morning. Just a few passing clouds and we'll remain dry for our Friday. Next chance for some rain does come on Saturday with scattered showers and then we'll warm up towards the end of the weekend. Another cold front does bring cooler air for the start of the next week, but take a look on how dry we're going to be from Sunday into Wednesday. Definitely got some dry time in store for us in the seven day heading into the next couple of days as well into the next week. Sure, and we need it. Yeah, we definitely do need it. All right, thank you, Joey. The time now is 7.46 coming up on Eyewitness News. The ice hall name a new captain days before the start of the season. The man they brought back for the leadership position. And a vintage bomber crashes and leaves multiple people dead. The ties here in a state line to the plane. Plus, Joey will update on the forecast. This portion of Eyewitness News is brought to you by Liberty Village in Freeport. You enjoy traveling, visiting old friends, going south for the winter to be able to come and go as you please. What you won't miss is all the yard work and snow removal. You need to own a new custom-designed villa from Liberty Village. Own with no endowments. Just pick your large lot, choose from several floor plans that are customized to your taste. Liberty Village's local contractor, Steve Bonebright, will build it. So start enjoying your freedom and call Lori today. Enjoy the freedom to come and go when you live in one of our Liberty Villas. Simply the finest. Major auto accident. Let's do what we do. Serious injuries. Clearly our driver's fault. No one admits fault. So what's the plan? Delay? Deny? <laughs> what? They called the law offices of Hupe and Abraham. I think you should handle this one. Call the firm voted best. Hupe and Abraham. 800-800-5678. Right now. You handle it. No, I insist. Maybe we should settle this one. WM Day Spa Salon. When I started at WM, I felt very welcomed from the moment that I stepped in the door. They are very supportive and they want to make sure that you succeed here. At WM was the exact environment I was searching for. In my 11 years, I've continued to grow personally and professionally. It's just all about making someone's day and truly that's what we are here to do. At WM Day Spa, we value our team of daymakers and we give our entire team the tools for success. Come join us. 
The Bubble Hive is rated top five in the Midwest for best glass gallery four years in a row. From pens to vaporizers and everything in between, offering glass from dozens of local glass blowers and one-of-a-kind hard-to-find pieces by artists such as Mako, Ghost, and Stys Love. We are the Midwest's only certified Medicali dealer. Check out our UV room for mind-blowing Illuminati glass. Whether hobby, medi, or heady, we have it all at the Bubble Hive. Don't pass us by. Stop in and say hi. See everything we have to offer here at the Bubble Hive. Welcome back. The Bears are getting one key player back for this weekend, but another will still be on the sideline. Sports director Scott Leverett has the story on your sports headlines this morning. Mitch Trubisky most likely will not start for the Bears Sunday against the Raiders. That's the word from Matt Nagy. Roquan Smith, though, looks like he will play Sunday. He practiced yesterday. Both he and Matt Nagy were again tight-lipped, though, on exactly why Smith set out last Sunday. Again, I'm going to keep going back to the, the personal side. Um, and, and that's the issue that we're at right now. So we are happy that he will be full go today. And uh, it's going to be more of a day-to-day -day thing for us with him. Yeah, like Coach said, it was a um, personal reason. And uh, <clears throat> that's behind us now. So just focused on uh, getting better this week and uh, moving on to Oakland. I'm, I'm good. Uh, it was personal. Uh, it's behind me. So more so just looking forward to um, getting better today out at practice and um, going back to work with my guys. Samantha Rivera, Brittany Tulis, Hub Arkish, and I will have much more on the Bears Raiders matchup this Sunday morning on the Bear Blitz. It's 9.30 a.m. on Fox 39 and 10 a.m. on my network TV. Now, one of the main reasons the Ice Hogs brought back Chris Versteeg was for his leadership. Now his job as team leader is official. He's been named the captain of the team. He's the Ice Hogs' first captain in three years. He was a bit overwhelmed yesterday after practice when he got the news during a team meeting. It was a pretty special moment. Uh, it's been a long time since I've ever, you know, had a letter or wore anything, and uh, I don't expect to change who I am or anything like that, but it was, uh, it was a moment I'm going to remember in hockey for a long time. Well, you might want to turn away from your television for just a few seconds, Blackhawks fans, because this was the scene in St. Louis last night. The Blues had their championship banner raised before their home opener against the Washington Capitals. Last season, the Blues won their first championship in 51 years of hockey. The Capitals spoiled the Blues night, though, by beating the Blues 3-2 in overtime. The Tampa Bay Rays won the American League wildcard game 5-1 over the Oakland A's. The Rays advanced to face the Astros. And the Cardinals and Braves will play game one of their playoff series this afternoon. That's sports. Have a great day. We now have some creepy characters in our studio, and this season is a season for scares. And what better way to bring in Halloween spirit than visiting a haunted house, of course. And this morning, we have one of the state line's scariest haunted houses pay us a visit. I'm here with the characters. Thank you guys for joining us. Not a problem. Thanks for having us. <laughs> I like you guys are in character, even answering the questions. <laughs> so can you tell us more about the history behind the haunted house location? It is in a historic building that used to be the old middle school in Broadhead, built originally in 1906. It's been abandoned for over 20 years. Oh, wow. Yes. It's like a perfect place for a haunted house. Yes, over 20,000 square feet. So how long has this haunted house been running since, you know, how old the building is? Last year was our first year. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. What do you guys, have you guys seen it? Uh, a lot of people are getting scared going through it, or oh, what about yes. the responses? Every night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> you get a lot of good screams. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so, when it comes to the haunted house, can you tell you more about the characters you guys are playing? Yeah. Well, I am Beware, and I, well, first of all, we have a fabulous surgeon, and he has done just a remarkable job on my face. Impeccable, I must say. Oh, yes. he's so good. Impeccable. Can't say no, so. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys? Uh, I'm Tweak, and this is Tickles. Yeah. Uh, punishable <laughs> by death! <laughs> Do you guys uh. get to choose your characters? Like, do the costumes for yourself, or do they provide it for you? It depends. Um, you know, they, they, there's like a, a theme that goes with the haunt, and and then we just kind of have the characters birthed out of that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, they come naturally. Yeah. Very yeah. naturally. Yeah, yeah I'm watching this it one down like here, it. yep. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> and can you tell us more about what is going to be new this year than last year? Oh, well, this year we have um, a different 
themes from last year. We have um, a basement area that you can go into. There's... Uh, I guess I have more characters. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, we have more characters. Yeah, uh, characters. A whole new layout. Mm -hmm. um, a little Each bit longer. Mm. Is there any special attraction or feature that's returning from last year that's going to be here this year? I mean, there's always the carnival. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one. The <laughs> carnival. <laughs> Love it, clowns. <laughs> All right, so we have the, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And we have two tickets to give away during this, during this segment. So make sure you guys call us and the number. Jared Goff and the Rams square off against the electrifying Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Thursday night football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. Hi, I'm Doug Mark from Fitzgerald Funeral Home and Crematory to talk about the many benefits of pre-planning your funeral. Advanced planning allows you to make important funeral planning decisions in a relaxed atmosphere before the actual need, giving you and your family peace of mind. You'll relieve your loved ones of the added stress of the many decisions to be made quickly during the, one of the most difficult days of their lives, allowing them the time and energy to focus on being there for one another and celebrating your life journey with those who care about you most. It's easy, you can make changes anytime and it's transferable anywhere if your circumstances ever change. For more information or to receive your personal wishes organizer at no cost or obligation, call us or see us at either our West Riverside Chapel or our South Mulford Chapel or visit us at FitzgeraldFuneralHome.com. Let's go! At U.S. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. So there are no surprises on your bill. That's the best value in wireless. That works for you? Get unlimited data for just $30 a month with no hidden fees. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. I'd like to start a car insurance policy. Okay, we'll have an agent right with you if you don't mind taking a seat. Thanks! I'm, I'm sorry. Insurance King. Drive legal for less. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Brett Brooks, and here's a look at your top stories. The city of Rockford prepares to host its first ever Olympic trials. It's also the first ever table tennis trials in the entire state. Team USA and Team Canada will face off at the BMO Harris Bank Center. The winning women and men will qualify for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. To celebrate, a pregame street festival will be held downtown before the matches on Saturday with food, a DJ, and bounce houses. Rockford Area Convention Visitors Bureau says expanding its sports tourism portfolio is something it has been working on. Two people are taken to the hospital after police say a driver lost control of the car. This was a scene at North Central in Sherman around 9.30 yesterday morning. Police say a driver was heading south on Central when that person lost control. The car hit a curb and wrapped around a utility pole. You could see the rear end of the car sitting on the hood. Two people were inside. Both were taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police told us one of them is in stable condition. And Joey is here with a forecast. Good morning, Joey. Good morning, Brett. Yeah, we're still with mostly cloudy skies for most of us as you make your way out the door. Temperature-wise, we're in the upper 50s. 59 degrees in Rockford, 57 up in Janesville, also 57 in Freeport, and 55 degrees up in Monroe right now. Now, mostly cloudy for us here in the state line after we got some rain last night. Now, we're looking at an isolated shower this morning, but otherwise, a drier afternoon is in store for us. Once these winds kick into the northwest position, that's when we'll see some dry air come into the region, and we're going to see some sunshine as we also head into the evening. Then 
then tonight, 43 degrees, definitely a chilly night, a light breeze and a few passing clouds will allow temperatures to drop down into the low 40s, so definitely could see some frosty spots as we wake up and head out the door tomorrow morning. So the seven-day forecast, we're going to be seeing temperatures drop down into the upper 50s for our Friday and Saturday. Saturday's the next time we can see some rain here across the region, and then we dry out going into the start of the work week as high pressure takes command from Sunday into Wednesday. So some dry weather coming into the state line after the rain we got last night. Back to you. Thank you, Joey. For those of you watching on Channel 17, Good Morning America continues after the break. And for everyone else, more of it on the local newscast on Fox 39. The four founders of Rush Creek Distilling have one dual passion, make the finest craft distilled spirits and have fun doing it. Stop in with friends and family, take a tour, enjoy a Rush Creek cocktail at our Craftsman Bar and take home a bottle today. Rush Creek Distilling is located in Harvard, Illinois, just a country drive from Lake Geneva or Rockford. Check out our website at rushcreekdistilling.com to find a distributor near you and make every sip an adventure. Five, three, two, one, let's get up. I have Ed and Joyce in here for a briefing this morning. We're about to go to blocking rehearsal. Good morning, how you doing? We're about to do a tech rehearsal. This is where we run through the show. Hello. Poor guy yeah. puts up with me all day. He runs the show. It's not putting up. Go. <laughs> most important thing I'm learning, the schedule is always fluid. I'm just doing person, person. Okay, I got it. What do they really, here, let me go. Can I do a stew over? Are we allowed to do that here? <laughs> Welcome to the Mel Robbins Show. I have the best team on the planet. Each day, teachers and students in and out of the classroom are working hard to make the state line a better place to live and learn. Join Eyewitness News anchor Mimi Murphy as she showcases the best of the best. Education Matters, Wednesdays only on Eyewitness News. Education Matters is brought to you by Bergstrom. Live from Fox 39 and your home team, Eyewitness News in the morning starts now. Students in Freeport get a lesson on internet safety, a major role an expert says all kids should be following. Anna State Line sees the effects of heavy rain. The area is on high alert right now from recent flooding. Plus, agriculture is one of the top industries in Illinois, the range of opportunities students have to get involved in the field. Good morning. It's currently 8 o'clock on the dot. I'm Brett Brooks. Good morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. As you just saw, things got a little bit spooky here in the studio. And if you missed it, you'll see it in a few more minutes. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of cool that they came in character and they're actually like performing on air as we're interviewing them. So that was pretty cool. That you definitely true. got a little creeped out towards the end of the interview a little bit. Yeah, it was. The, little, the guy on the floor clawing, <laughs> grabbing my hand, kind of threw me off a little bit. But we have tickets for the screamatorium, mm -hmm. so stay tuned to see how you can get your pair. Absolutely. I'm not one to go to haunted houses, but I know a a lot of my friends who do go to them and they always have a great time. Yeah, I'm the same way as you. Yeah. I don't go to Hana House. Let's take a look at what's going on out there <laughs> this morning. Taking a look at our Mercy Health Sky Track camera over the Park Hills Golf Course. Out in Freeport, we are dry throughout the region, still mostly cloudy over most spots and some patchy fog as well. So take your time if you do encounter any patchy fog during the morning commute. But as we see here in Freeport, mostly cloudy skies and also a light breeze has stuck with us as we head into our Thursday morning. So here's a look at current conditions right now 58 degrees with a light northwest breeze at nine miles per hour and dew points in the upper 50s as well. So looking at how dense the fog is right now, currently in DeKalb, four mile visibility, three down in Rochelle, seven in Freeport and 2.5 up in Monroe. Overall, above that fog, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies on satellite and radar. We're gonna keep the cloudy conditions in the forecast for the rest of the morning, maybe a lingering morning shower, but then a few peaks of sun and breezy conditions will arrive by the afternoon, keeping our weather risk on the low side. So the lights will stay green for the morning commute and then also we keep the green light screen for the evening commute as well. Shouldn't have any weather related issues driving to where you need to be today. So the daily planner after a cloudy start, we'll see a few peaks of sun by the afternoon. Breezy at times with highs only going up to 62 degrees. Let's take a look now at our first sworn interactive radar sponsored by Paper Recovery Service. 
maybe an isolated shower this morning, but otherwise we're actually going to see a lot of dry time the next couple of days, and I'll have more on that coming up in the first Warren weather forecast. It's looking like fall out there, and it's it going to feel like it, too. It's going to feel like it definitely tomorrow morning, and I'll tell you why coming up. Okay, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. A family is forced out of their home after a fire early this morning. It happened on Lekin Terrace near State and Central just before 2.30. Here's a look at the scene when crews first arrived. Rockford Fire tweeted about 15 minutes later the fire was under control and all the residents were safe and uninjured. Officials say there is heavy damage on all three floors. Here's what the house looks like now. Two adults and two children are displaced. No word yet on what caused this fire. Technology can be an important tool for kids, but there are dangers. A few wrong clicks can impact a child for the rest of their life. Report Dylan Siraki joined young Freeport students Wednesday morning as they learn how important it is to be careful online. Internet predator has 250 victims. A startling number from cybercrimes detective Richard Wistocki. He says it's important kids know just how dangerous the internet can be. That's where parents come in. There's no such thing as privacy for children that it's their responsibility to go into those social networks and see their videos and pictures and messages. Because if they don't show their kids what to do, somebody else will be. One of the biggest mistakes parents make, Wastaki says, is letting kids lie about their age so they can create a profile on apps like Snapchat and Instagram. Today I asked the kids, how many of you fourth, fifth graders round up 2,000? And a third of them raised their hand. Now what happens, you have nine-year-olds posing as 19-year-olds, who's going to talk to them? Adults. Who's going to send them pictures and videos that are inappropriate? Adults. Who's going to ask them for pictures and videos? Adults. So we are risking our children's innocence. Wistocki knows kids will sign up for apps and sites they're too young to be on. He suggested following this rule of thumb, the three P's. That's priest, principal, and parent. If a student is thinking about posting something online and doesn't want any of those three to see it, they should avoid posting. Children in the young grades, even first and second grade, uh, get into exper experiences that they don't know how to handle. Beth Maskell is the executive director for Voices of Stevenson County, a domestic violence and sexual abuse center. She helped organize this presentation. She knows firsthand it's it's important for kids to learn how to protect themselves at a young age. We were excited that we could um, kind of do some outreach to the youth about what happens online um, because so many of the people that we see after they've been victims of um, you know predators online, um, we want to find a way to get them before that happens. In Freeport, for your home team, I'm Dylan Siraki. Parents also make a common mistake when they think certain devices are safer for kids than others. You can learn more about that by finding this story on our website, mystateline.com. The man suspected of killing three people on a party bus in Rockford appears in court. Raheem King has requested a change of venue for his trial. His lawyer argued for the move yesterday. King faces 126 counts of murder. Prosecutors say he used an assault-style rifle to shoot and kill Dejan Sistrunk, Martavius Blake, and Sean Anderson in April 2018. It happened inside of a charter bus near Auburn Street and Johnston Avenue. The judge is expected to give her decision on the relocation for the trial October 25th. A Rockwood woman will spend the next two years behind bars after crashing into another car while impaired. Shelly Givens pled guilty to driving under the influence involving great bodily harm. She'll be on mandatory supervised release one year after she's out. In January 2018, Givens drove the wrong way on Kilburn Avenue north of Auburn. She hit a Subaru while speeding. A passenger in the Subaru was taken to a Rockford hospital for treatment. The victim survived. Recent storms and heavy rain caused problems across the state line. In Stevenson County, Business Route 20 west of Freeport has water on it. Several rural roads are flooded too from overflowing creeks and the Pecatonica River. The Peck is currently in moderate flood stage. Here's Crate Park in Freeport. The Yellow Creek is rising into the parking lot. The ramp to a dock is covered as well. <laughs> Flooding causes issues in Winnebago County, too. This video is from Hyanega Forest Preserve. Signs and picnic tables are nearly submerged. There's also a lot of standing water. The Rock River in Winnebago, Rock, and Ogle counties is under a no-wake order. It's expected to reach moderate flood stage as well. High water has forced some area of the parks to close. Police say Riverside Park in Roscoe is shut down until further notice. In consumer news, Walmart pulls a popular Hopper and drug off store shelves. The retailer will stop selling Zantac. CVS and Walgreens already suspended the sales of acid-reducing medicines with Runa TV. 
The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says the drug contains low levels of an impurity which could cause cancer. The FDA has not called on people to stop taking it. Walmart says customers can return the affected products for a refund. A new study shows the upcoming holiday season could be a record breaker. The Salesforce report suggests the U.S. will hit a new high of $136 billion in sales. This would be a 13% increase from last year. $8 billion of that should come from Cyber Monday alone. There are six fewer shopping days between Cyber Week and Christmas. Early bird shopping is expected to increase by 22% as well. Experts believe increasing ag education in the classroom will lead more to students pursuing college agricultural degrees. That's why one local farmer took it upon himself to make sure the ag department at one local junior high did not close. Mimi Murphy has this week's Education Matters. Jeff Svensson is an agriculture teacher at Paw Paw Junior High. He's more than qualified for the position with plenty of practical experience. We farm about 1,300 acres of corn and soybeans, and then we feed out about 20 head of cattle that I sell locally. Svensson, or Mr. Jeff to his students, got certified to teach ag in order to keep the high school from losing its FFA program. He believes all kids should learn about the diverse field. There are so many opportunities available to the students uh, as they grow up. I mean, it ranges not only from farmers, but we need chemists, you need salesmen, uh, all those different types of jobs. Katie Pratt shares Svensson's passion for agriculture. She's the literacy coordinator for Lee County Ag in the Classroom. Many of the students in Lee County live in rural America. Pratt wants them to appreciate the world around them. And they go to school in small towns and they're surrounded by cornfields and bean fields and cattle and pigs. Learn about that. Um, understand why it's important to our communities and then at the same time, why it's important to our economy and our world and how that's where your food comes from and your fiber and your fuel and your feeds. Mr. Jeff's students are starting small, learning what it takes to grow plants. I'm growing some types of flowers, some types of vegetables, uh, watermelon and cat grass. I planted a few flowers, a sensitive plant and like tomatoes. I just thought that they were kind of cool and I could experiment how they grew. Students say they're learning about the vital role farmers play. I think it's very important what they do. Why? Because because if, if they didn't farm, we wouldn't have corn, we wouldn't have wheat, and we wouldn't have soybeans. Having an actual farmer teaching ag offers a great advantage to students. I give them the, the antidotes and whatnot of what happens on the farm, what really happens. Out once again, it's officially spooky season, and what better way to celebrate the Halloween spirit than visiting a haunted house, of course. And this morning, we have some visitors from um, Spookatory, Screamatorium Haunted House in Wisconsin. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you guys first tell us where the haunted house is located? <laughs> we are in Broadhead, Wisconsin, about 45 minutes from here. Oh, that's oh, he's a little touchy. <laughs> <laughs> and then what makes your haunted house so, I guess, unique, as we can see, compared well, to others? Well, we are located in the old middle school of Broadhead. So it's been abandoned for years, and we just refurnished it. Oh, yeah, you were telling us earlier that the, this, this house has been for, uh, here for quite a while. Can you tell us the history behind the haunted house? Uh, well, the building itself has been there since 1906, mm -hmm. wow. and I believe it was the first school built in Broadhead, so um, it has a lot of history to the locals there. Um, but yeah, do you think there's any haunted history there? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's pretty spooky Especially at night. night. <laughs> it's it's very, very spooky. Yeah. Which would be the perfect time to go to the haunted house as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So they might see you and they might see actual ghosts and goblins too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Mr. Happy, you get back here. <laughs> <laughs> so we see Mr. Happy here. Can you guys tell us more about your costumes? Well, see. Or are you guys in costumes? Oh. how I all the time. And you're gorgeous. When I say oh, your surgery looks impeccable. My, my surgeon, he's amazing. <laughs> That's a great job, you guys. <laughs> what's, the, what's the funnest part about being part of this haunted house? For me, it's dressing up and getting kooky. Yeah. And I'm, it's, it's definitely a family. Uh, 
we all have a great time scaring everybody. Everybody seems to have a good time coming through. Cool. <laughs> and so when people come by to the haunted house, what can they expect? Should I pet him? They can expect <laughs> to get really dark. <laughs> and they can expect to get scared. Of, of course. And they can expect really cool props and characters and gorgeous, uh, rich, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mystery of the building? Well, there's that, but also like... They're just gonna be scared and have a great sex. time. Yeah, it's just wonderful. Sex. It's really all a wonderful time. Mostly yeah. for us, but yeah. <laughs> And we're giving away two tickets to the crematorium, so stay tuned for just a quick second. We'll get you guys a phone number to call so we can get you guys the pair of tickets. And so what, what are the hours of operation and when you guys officially open? I know you guys already started, but what are the hours of operation? How can they find you? Well, if you visit um, screamatoriumhauntedhouse.com, all of our information's on there. But we will be open every weekend, well, every Friday and Saturday from... <laughs> 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. and then we will have some Thursdays and Sundays available from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and of course we'll be open on Halloween. Mm -hmm. And we have the dates on the screen as you can see by now um, on the weekend and also November 1st and 2nd. <laughs> and that's Dark Stalkers. That's when we turn off mm -hmm. all the lights and you get a glow stick oh. and you have to walk through in the dark. All right, so for a chance to win those two tickets to see this guy, <laughs> we have the phone number on your screen for you right now. It's 815-968-4581. And get your call right now, and you can get two free tickets to the crematorium. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate yeah, it. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll have more of your news and your forecast. How do I use better than bouillon? I just add a spoonful to my marinades. To stir fries. Sauces. Just whisk it in. Brush it on. Saute. It adds a cooked all day taste. That doesn't take all day. Better than bouillon. Don't just make it, make it better. Search for strong glue that's clear. Sorry, I didn't get that. Clear glue. <laughs> clear Gorilla Glue. Of course. Gorilla Glue strength in a crystal clear formula. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. The biggest savings are right now during Sunny Island RV's year-end sale. Prices have been slashed on hundreds of in-stock RVs, including the 2020s. Let's start with this new Gulfstream Envision SVT Cruiser, just $122 a month. Go bigger with this Dutchman Astoria. Are you ready? Just $227 a month. You can buy a car or ride in style and extreme comfort in this Thor Motor Coach 4 Winds, only $366 a month. Sunny Island RV on the corner of Alpine and Sandy Hollow in Rockford. It's time to enjoy the adventure. Have you been living with lousy dentures that slip, wobble, look fake, feel uncomfortable, or have even fallen out? Some people think all dentures are the same. Everyone's mouth is different, and that's why Stewart Family Dental custom fits every denture for every patient. We want you to get your life back, eat the foods that you couldn't before, get rid of pain and discomfort, and create dentures that fit, feel, and look great. Let Dr. Stewart's experience and expertise help you smile with confidence again. Call Stewart Family Dental today for a free consultation. Big Bang Character Prototype Penny. Oh my god, you look so smart and odd. Characteristic physical beauty. Do it. Does she do it yet? The Big Bang Theory, five nights a week. The American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will be held Saturday, October 19th at Rock Valley College. Honor those touched by the disease and help raise awareness and funds for a world without breast cancer. Register at makingstrideswalk.org. Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Still looking at mostly cloudy skies for most of us if you're heading out the door at this half hour. Also, some patchy fog has lingered around as well. But if we take a look at our Mercy L Sky Track camera this morning, out at the Park Hills Golf Course out in Freeport, mostly cloudy skies. And as you see by that flagpole there, a little bit of a breeze has, has developed this morning as well. Taking a look at current conditions, 58 degrees right now with a light breeze out of the west at 9 miles per hour. And dew points are holding into the upper 50s as well. So here's a look at current temperatures across the board. 58 in DeKalb, 59 out in here in Rockford, 57 up in Janesville, 55 in Monroe, and 52 degrees out west in Galena. So satellite radar showing you the rain that we got overnight last night into this morning moving out of the area, leaving us with mostly cloudy skies. That low pressure that did bring the rain last night could provide us with an isolated shower this morning, but as it continues to track off towards the east, dry air will be filtered into the region, and that's because of this high pressure system that is off in the Midwest.
west. Now that will move overhead as we head into the night tonight. So we're going to be continuing to stay dry as we head into our Friday. So taking a look at Futurecast, planning out your day today, we will hold on to the cloud cover for the rest of the morning. And then as we head into the afternoon, once those winds at the surface switch to out of the northwest, that's going to be filtering in some dry air. So we'll see decreasing clouds turning partly sunny by this evening. It may be a little bit breezy this afternoon, but otherwise we are going to have a dry day in store for us for our Thursday. Staying dry tonight, you might need a jacket or a sweater before heading out tomorrow morning because temperatures will have the opportunity to drop down into the low 40s. That does also give us a chance for a few frosty spots as well as we wake up and head out the door. But once we go into the afternoon, that high pressure system continuing to keep us dry and we'll see temperatures a little bit cooler in the upper 50s and also keeping those temperatures for our Saturday as well. The next time we'll get to see some rain will be late Friday night into Saturday morning as a low pressure approaches from the west. Now we're still monitoring the flooding that's going on across the state line from the recent rainfall. We do have a flood warning in effect for the Rock River going all the way down into Byron, then a flood advisory for the Rock River from Dixon to Sterling, and then also a flood warning in effect for the Pecatonica River in Freeport and also in Sherland. So here's a look at current flood levels for right now. The Pecatonica in Freeport and Sherland is over 14 feet, so it's in moderate flood stage. Right now, the Rock River in Latham Park and also in Rockton is over 10 feet, and it's just about to eclipse into moderate flood stage. It will do so as we go into the afternoon. So here's what we're looking at going into the weekend. They're going to be continuing to stay at moderate flood stage, the Pecatonica and Freeport and Sherland into the weekend. Like I said, right now, minor flood stage for the Rock River and Latham Park in Rockton. It's going to be in moderate flood stage as we close in on the afternoon. So if you're heading out today and you live right next to a river, make sure to keep these flood safety tips in mind because there will be flooded roadways. Do not attempt to drive across a flooded roadway. Six inches of water can take you off your feet. Even two feet can take away most vehicles, including SUVs. And do not drive around any barricades that's blocking you from a flooded roadway. So here's a look at today's forecast, 62 degrees. A cloudy start will lead to some sunshine for the afternoon. We'll be dry and breezy. Wind gusts can gust as high as 25 miles per hour. Then tonight, dropping down to a very chilly low of 43 degrees. We'll definitely have a few frosty spots as we wake up tomorrow morning. Then it'll be a light breeze overnight into our Friday morning as well. So the seven-day forecast, upper 50s for Friday and Saturday. Like I said, the next chance we'll see some rain will be Saturday with another low-pressure system moving in, drying out by the end of the weekend. And we'll stay dry. High pressure moving head heading into the middle of next week. Joey, I know you just saw those spooky characters. You was just there. Mm -hmm. But apparently we, our phones are ringing off the hook for those tickets. Really? Yes. Yes. So we do want to tell you guys, we did give away all four of those tickets to the crematorium, but you can still get your tickets for just 30 bucks. Yeah, definitely head up there. They're <laughs> legit. So thanks for calling and congratulations to the people who won their tickets. Yeah, absolutely. A great, uh, great thing to do, especially for the Halloween season. Go up and get scared. I mean, I'm not the person that would probably go up there because I don't normally go to haunted houses, <laughs> but definitely it would be a good time for anyone else who loves that kind of stuff. Yeah, we used to definitely try to give away more tickets but we gave them all away thank you guys for calling though yeah absolutely so now let's take a look at new movies out on home video this week brought to you by Bomar heating and cooling are you ready I'm ready just in time for the new animated film to be released the Adams family and the Adams family values <laughs> arrive <laughs> in a two movie collection in the Adams family con artists plan to fleece a family using an accomplice who claims to be their long-lost uncle and in Adam's Family Values, the family tries to rescue their beloved uncle, Fester, from his gold-digging new love, who happens to be their new household nanny. For your chance to win Adam's Family Collection, or Toy Story 4, or The Shining 4K Ultra Addiction, Edition, or Superman Far From Home, go to MyStateLine.com and register at our contest page. Imagine <laughs> seeing that little hand just coming right towards you. I know. I was <laughs> like, <I'm> watching. <laughs> I get to see in the corner of my eye. <laughs> the time now is 821, and coming up next on Eyewitness News, a historical moment for Rockford this weekend. The reason players say is to perfectly... for their Olympic trials. Plus, a new clinic in Illinois may cause some stir. The controversy it could cause in a bordering state. Want to take your XFi to the next level? Now you can with XFi Vantage, giving you enhanced performance and protection. When devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi, they're protected, helping keep outsiders from getting inside. Plus, you get unlimited data, so you can stream, surf, and game all you want. With confidence, you can get coverage where you need it most. That's XFi Vantage. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months. Or get four times the speed for just $10 more a month. Call, click, or visit a store today. 
Nursing home neglect is heartbreaking. My father was brought to a nursing home, and twice during that stay, he had fallen, brought him home for the remaining seven months of his life. She put her trust in mom and law. We just felt totally confident that we were going to be steered in the right direction, and they really, really care about their clients. They're honorable, and they are compassionate. We were very pleased with the outcome. Justice was served. Your lawyers need to be this good. Mom and law. Nursing home injury cases. And so it begins, the story of a life charted with signs sprinkled through the streets of Rockford. Small signs of a life's journey. Holding close, holding tight, let the moon slowly take over all night. The skies never be clearer than now. To me. With each new sign, we watch and wonder. Around here, life stories begin at Swedish American. Go ahead, ask the person sitting next to you if they were born at Swedes. If they say yes, consider it a good sign. Holding close, holding tight. Let the moon slowly take over on the night. The skies has never been clearer than. Stay connected to Eyewitness News on the go 24-7 wherever you are with the My State Light app. Always know when news breaks at home or around the world. Get the latest forecast, sports highlights, and so much more. It's like having your home team with you everywhere you go. Welcome back. One presidential hopeful suspends his campaign events, and an investigation is underway after a deadly plane crash in Connecticut. Here is making headlines across the nation this morning. At least seven people are dead after a Vengeance B-17 bomber crashed at Bradley International Airport. The FAA says the accident happened during an aborted takeoff attempt. Officials say there were 10 passengers and three crew members on board. The injured were taken to area hospitals. One person on the ground was also hurt. The NTSB is now sending a team to investigate what went wrong. Senator Bernie Sanders takes a break from the campaign trail. The Democratic presidential candidate had some chest pain at an event on Tuesday night. Doctors found a blocked artery. They placed two stents to open it up. Sanders tweeted, thanks for the well wishes, and says he's feeling good. No word when Senator Sanders will return back to the campaign trail. And now for our morning mug club. Make sure you comment on our morning mug club post for a chance to win free tickets to the Olympic trial table tennis tournament today. Yeah, one lucky winner will be okay. announced at the end of our next half hour. Stay tuned, and here's a look at some of the comments so far. The American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk will be held Saturday, October 19th at Rock Valley College. Honor those touched by the disease and help raise awareness and funds for a world without breast cancer. Register at makingstrideswalk.org. I'm Cheryl with Members Alliance Credit Union. As a credit union, we're a cooperative, which means we're a lot like a bank, just a little different, and we'd like to think better. We offer the same types of services, but unlike a bank who has investors looking to make a profit, we differ in that our customers, or members as we call them, are the owners. The profits stay here, benefiting our members in our community. So in banking, consider Members Alliance Credit Union. We're here for you. Windsor Auto Sales, fall blowout sale. With prices on cars and trucks lower than they've ever been before. Don't wait while the selection is great. Blowout of our complete inventory. Right now, get a fantastic price on sports cars, SUVs, trucks, and even gas savers. Come in now while the selection's great. It's so easy. Check our inventory every day at WindsorAutoInc.com. Nikki is good boy. Come down to have a good deal. So without doubt, the most popular and requested promotion that we've offered in the last 40 years is our famous Champagne Sunday Brunch, and we're happy to say it's back again. Big Bang character prototype, Raj. Raj is my name and stars on my game. Characteristic canine dependency. Let's go see if you fit in my man purse. The Big Bang Theory, five nights a week.
morning. I'm Brett Brooks, and here's a look at your top stories. The man suspected of killing three people on a party bus in Rockford appears in court. Raheem King has requested a change of venue for his trial. His lawyer argued for the move yesterday. King faces 126 counts of murder. Prosecutors say he used an assault-style rifle to shoot and kill Dejan Sistrunk, Martavius Blake, and Sean Anderson in April 2018. It happened inside of a charter bus near Auburn Street and Johnston Avenue. The judge is expected to give her decision on a relocation for the trial on October 25th. A rifle woman will spend the next two years behind bars after crashing into another car while impaired. Shelly Gibbons pled guilty to driving under the influence involving great bodily harm. She'll be on mandatory supervised release for one year after she's released from jail. In 2018, Gibbons drove on the wrong way on Kilburn Avenue north of Auburn. She hit a Subaru while speeding. A passenger in the Subaru was taken to a Rockford hospital for treatment. The victim survived. And now Joey's here with your weather. Good morning, Joey. Good morning, Brent. Yeah, we're looking at an isolated shower passing through right now in Freeport on our SkyTrack camera. Otherwise, mostly cloudy in most spots. Like I said, we could see an isolated shower or two as this low pressure continues to kick out towards the east. But right now, temperatures are in the upper 50s for most. 57 up in Janesville, 56 in Monroe, 58 down in Rochelle. Coolest spot remains to be Galena at 52 degrees. So here's a look at satellite and radar for right now. Mostly cloudy skies could see an isolated shower uh, or two for the rest of the morning. But we'll see some sunshine as we head towards the Z evening with the high near 62 a little bit breezy during the day as well definitely a chilly night in store for us 43 degrees a few passing clouds and a light breeze definitely grab the jacket or sweater before heading out tomorrow morning back to you brett thank you joey good morning america continues next and more local news on fox 39 have a great thursday Jared Goff and the Rams square off against the electrifying Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. You want the look and feel of a new car without the new car price? Check out Rick Herter Motors. Nearly new cars starting at just $179 per month. Check out RickHerterMotors.com. Rick Herter Motors on North 2nd and Riverside. WM Day Spa Salon. Working at WM, I'm surrounded by people that have the same passion and love for the beauty and wellness industry that I do. There's no competition because we all want each other to succeed. We want everyone to feel appreciated when they come to WM Day Spa Salon. Different girls from all different types of backgrounds um, that enjoy different ranges of services and we really just enjoy what we do and if you enjoy what you do, come and apply. At WM Day Spa, we value our team of day makers and we give our entire team the tools for success. Come join us. Big Bang character prototype subject Leonard. Short and sexy, that's my wheelhouse. Characteristic inferior self-esteem. You're a genius. Not really. I googled how to do that. The Big Bang Theory, five nights a week. Hi, I'm Randy Palmieri. Every year we repay back a veteran. This year, the winners of this house, we did a full makeover on roof, siding, gutters, and windows. It's beautiful. You have to have seen the house before to know how beautiful it really is. We come out every day to take a look at our beautiful house. Thanks to Mr. Palmieri and all his workers and people, and it's more than anybody could ever, ever hope for or ask for. Randy Palmieri and Son is honored to do this every year for a veteran. We look forward to repaying a veteran again next year. Get on-demand news and weather updates from Eyewitness News on any Amazon Alexa device. Live from Fox 39 and your home team, Eyewitness News in the morning starts now. Olympic hopefuls arrive in Rockford for the city's first ever Olympic trials. The way organizers say the event will help their future endeavors. And Illinois will soon be home to one of the country's largest abortion clinics. The timeline of when it will open and the way it's increasing access. Plus, a local police department supports the fight against breast cancer. The way you can join the movement to help them reach their goal. Good morning. It's currently 831. I'm Brett Brooks. And good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joey Marino. Welcome to Thursday. We're one day closer to the weekend. We are almost there. What a spooky way to start off the morning, huh? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was interesting. It interesting. was interesting. People, uh, people, Characters from Screamatorium came out, and we had a little bit of a good time and a little bit of a spooky <laughs> time with them as well. Yeah, they're located in Broadhead, so check them out, because tickets are only like 30 bucks a go, and we gave away four tickets today, so mm -hmm. we missed out.
Yeah, definitely something to do, especially with the holiday or the uh, Halloween season right yes. around the corner. So definitely want to do that. Let's take a look at what's going on out there this morning. So taking a look at our SkyTrack camera out at the Park Hills Golf Course in Freeport. You can see that there are a few raindrops on the camera. A passing shower just passed through Freeport. We can expect that for the rest of the morning. Maybe an isolated shower too as this low pressure continues to move out of the region. But mostly cloudy skies for most as you head out the door right now. Here's a look at current conditions. 58 degrees with a breeze out of the northwest at 12 miles per hour and dew points remain comfortably in the upper 50s this morning. So temperatures across the board 57 up in Janesville, 58 in DeKalb, 58 also in Rochelle, 56 in Monroe and our coolest spot remains to be Galena at 52 degrees. Rain moved out this morning leaving us with mostly cloudy skies. We'll keep the cloud cover for the rest of the morning even into the early hours of the afternoon. Could see a few peaks of sun as we head into this evening and it will be breezy at times today but we'll keep our weather risk on the low side. Now for the commute cast we're going to keep the lights green for the morning commute and then also for the evening commute shouldn't have any weather related issues as you travel during the day today. So here's a look at our daily planner. A cloudy start will lead to a breezy afternoon. Temperatures will be <clears throat> on the cooler side, excuse me, with a high today of 62 degrees. Let's take a look now at our first warrant. Interactive radar sponsored by Paper Recovery Service. Nothing to look at for right now. Most of the rain has moved off towards the east, but we're going to have some dry time today and tomorrow. And I'll have more on that coming up. First warned weather forecast. There was a lot of rain earlier today. Yeah, we did have some shower activity overnight, but luckily for us now, that is off in the past. We're going to be seeing some sunshine later today. All right, thank you, Joey. You're welcome. The city of Rockford prepares to host its first ever Olympic trials. It's also the first ever table tennis trials in the entire state. Team USA and Team Canada will face off at the Beamer Harris Bank Center. The winning women and men will qualify for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo. To celebrate the historic milestone, a pregame street festival will be held downtown before the match starts on Saturday with food, a DJ, and bounce houses. Rockford Area Convention Visitors Bureau says expanding its sports tourism portfolio is something it has been working hard on. RACVB will say they hope to make this weekend a great visit for athletes and their families. <laughs> Assuming that we do that, we can leverage that success for future arena partnership opportunities, f other future Olympic trials events. Uh, of course, we're looking at uh, college national championships still and some professional events as well. So really, we want to just maintain the momentum that this event offers us, and we have every intention of doing so. We have four tickets for the tournament to give away, and we're announcing that winner later on in the show, so stay tuned. Rockford first responders are kept busy by a couple of car crashes on Wednesday. This was the scene at North Central and Sherman around 9.30 yesterday morning. Police say a driver was heading south on Central when they lost control. They hit a curb and wrapped around a utility pole. You can see the rear end of the car sitting on the hood. Two people were inside. Both were taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police told us one of them is in stable condition. A few hours later, a second crash happened around 1 at 11th Street and 15th Avenue. The driver of the silver Chevy Impala was headed east on 15th when police say they drifted into the opposite lane and hit the minivan. The van spun and slammed into a pole. There was a heavy damage to the driver's side. The driver had to be cut out. Only minor injuries were reported. Planned Parenthood will open one of the country's largest abortion clinics just miles from the border of Missouri and Illinois. The 18,000 square foot health center will open in Fairview Heights near St. Louis later this month. The organization used a shell company to build a facility in secret in order to avoid delays and protesters. Missouri passed a bill earlier this year outlawing abortions past eight weeks of pregnancy. A federal judge blocked the law, but Planned Parenthood says Missouri residents still face fewer roadblocks getting the procedure in Illinois. <laughs> In addition to the mandated waiting period, um, patients don't have to have medically inaccurate um, state mandated information given to them. Um, their insurance, both public and private, can pay for that care. So just about nearly every hoop that our patients from Missouri have to navigate right now um, is eliminated here. The entire state of Missouri has just one abortion clinic. It's located in St. Louis. The Belvedere Police Department is supporting the fight against breast cancer, and you can help them. The department is selling these t-shirts. The back of the shirt says, together we win. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Belvedere's police chief is also trying to raise $5,000 for his Real Men Wear Pink campaign. If you would like to buy a shirt or make a donation, find this story online using our My State Line mobile app. Officers use a morning staple to get to know those they protect and serve. 
Coffee with a Cop is a nationwide event designed to connect residents with their local police. Winnebago County Sheriff deputies were on hand at By the Dozen Bakery in McChesney Park Wednesday morning. There was free coffee and conversations. Community members could discuss issues or simply get to know the officers just a little bit better. <laughs> We just uh, are able to find out what's going on in their neighborhoods, um, what we can do better, what we're doing good, um, just to have some conversation where we're, we're actually people and we're just not out there arresting people or pulling people over or you see us on accidents or see us on the worst times. It's nice to see us on the good times. This was the fourth year for Coffee with the Cop. Rockford, Durant, and Beloit Police also took part. A state line nonprofit who works with students with disabilities gives tours of its facility. Menta Academy Northwest held an open house yesterday. The organization works with school districts who acquire services for special needs children. Administrators say they have a low student to staff ratio, allowing them to have a personalized learning environment for each child. School leaders say it gets students to buy in and allows them to engage in their learning experience. We are always looking to create and foster partnerships with our community members and inviting them in to see what we do, uh, where their children are going, and how we kind of program to fit the needs of those children is very important. The Mental Academy has schools across Illinois and Arizona. Time now is 8.38 coming up on Eyewitness News. A special guest gives us a recap of last night's Max Stinger. You won't want to miss what she has to say. And Joey has your forecast. And the rain is behind us for now. We will see some dry time as we inch closer towards the weekend. I'll tell you when we can expect rain in the forecast coming up after the break. Stay tuned. Paying too much for glasses is just wrong. Check out the right sale at Eyewear Express and get a complete pair for $20. That's right, one pair for $20. Need progressives? Two pairs start at just $76.92. Check out the right sale at Eyewear Express. It's really nice being able to work back and forth with the internship and my schooling because I can take what I learned in school and go to work in an hour after class is done and be able to apply it. It's only beneficial for everyone because of all the different companies that are here. They're going to get people that are coming through the program that like all different kinds of things. So they're going to be able to find someone who's interested in what they like and what they do. And I think the Rockford area is going to be able to provide me that because of all the different opportunities. It's been a couple of years and in that short amount of time, I've met some great people. I was inspired to start Hall of Fame Model Sales off the hard work and dedication of my great uncle. But today my inspiration has grown with every person that has become a part of Hall of Fame Model Sales. I enjoy seeing the smiles when people get the vehicle they want, the one they really love to drive. And it's that happiness that has helped us grow and drives my commitment to offering people a new way to buy a vehicle. By being honest, hardworking, and delivering a hassle-free Open at 9 a.m. Eliminations at 10 a.m. Two sessions of the 25th annual World Power Wheel Standing Championships at 2 and 4 p.m. Tickets are $30 for adults, $10 for kids 6 through 12. Parking is free. Visit ByronDragway.com. For the first time in history, an Olympic trial will be held in Rockford, Illinois. Be there as world-class Canadian and American table tennis hopefuls fight to reach the 2020 Olympics in Japan. Witness the speed, spin, and staggering skill of elite table tennis athletes. The Road to Tokyo runs through BMO Harris Bank Center, October 5th, 2019. Visit rockfordolympictrials.com. Samantha Rivera, part of your home team. Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. Now that the rain is behind us, it did leave some patchy fog and did also leave mostly cloudy skies. And that's what we're looking at here on our Mercy Health Sky Track camera up in Beloit, Wisconsin. Mostly cloudy right now. And there is some areas of patchy fog still around the state line. So if you have to be out this morning and do encounter any fog, just make sure to take it slow out on the roads. Right now, up in Beloit, 59 degrees. Do have a, a northwesterly wind right now at 10 miles per hour. And dew points remain in the upper 
50s as well. So taking a look at temperatures, Rockford now up to 60 degrees, 59 down in Rochelle, 57 in Freeport, and also in Monroe. And our coolest spot still remains to be Galena at 52 degrees. So here's a look at satellite and radar. Most of the rain pushing out earlier this morning, leaving mostly cloudy skies. We'll hold on to the cloud cover as we go into the early hours of the afternoon and could see an isolated shower. That's because this low pressure system is still kicking off towards the east. Then dry conditions will move in by the afternoon, and that's because of this massive high pressure system in the Great Plains and the Midwest. That's going to be coming overhead as we head into the night tonight. So taking a look at Futurecast, planning out your day today. We will keep the cloud cover for the rest of the morning before we see some dry air move in this afternoon. So we'll be partly sunny by this evening, but it may be a little bit breezy during the day today. Then as we head into the night tonight, definitely a chilly night in store for us. We'll see a few passing clouds and temperatures will bottom out into the low 40s. So we will have a chilly start to our Friday morning. Could see some frosty spots as well. So definitely grab a jacket or a sweater before heading out tomorrow morning. And then high pressure will keep us dry tomorrow. Just a few passing clouds for the afternoon, partly sunny skies. Temperatures will be a little bit on the chilly side because winds will switch to out of the east. Usually when we have those winds out of the east, that means that uh, the temperatures will be a little bit cooler. So upper 50s for highs tomorrow. Then as we head into tomorrow night, that's when we'll see our next chance for some rain as we head into the day on Saturday as a low pressure system comes in from the west and gives us a chance for showers throughout the day on Saturday. So giving you an update on the flooding conditions for right now. Flood warning for the Rock River going down into Byron and then a flood advisory is in effect for the Rock River as well going from Dixon into Sterling. And then we also do have a flash flood warning in effect for the Pecatonica in Freeport and also Sherlin. So giving you an update on the Pecatonica River for right now as we see here looking at the Rock River as well. We do have that flash flood warning in effect going down into Byron and then also that flood advisory into Dixon. That's because we're going to be seeing the two spots here on the Rock River including the Latham Park spot and also the Rockton spot go up into moderate flood stage as we go into the later parts of the day today. Then as we head into the Pecatonica River, that's already in moderate flood stage. So definitely keep in mind for any flooded roadways that are along these rivers as you head out the door this morning. And don't drive around any barricades because one foot of water can take away your vehicle. Two feet can take away any vehicle, including SUVs. And it doesn't take much to sweep you off your feet as it takes only six inches of water to sweep you off your feet. So today's forecast, 62 degrees, a cloudy start and a morning shower will give way to a drier afternoon. A little bit breezy at times. Then as we head into the night tonight, 43 degrees of chilly night in store for us. Also, a light breeze will bring us down to 43 degrees by tomorrow morning. So taking a look at the seven day forecast, we're cooling down for our Friday and Saturday before we see a chance for showers throughout the day on Saturday, warming up by the end of the weekend, and then we'll see a dry start to the work week next week. Now I'm tossing it off to you, Brett. Thank you, Joey. Last night was week two of the Fox hit The Max Singer. Every week we'll be giving you a recap of the show with a little help from one of our friends. 97ZOK's The Steve Shannon Show producer, MJ, is here to give us a recap of what happened last night. Good morning, MJ. Good morning, Brad. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing awesome. So first and foremost, can you tell us where, what were the matchups last night? So last night we got four new characters and it was the Black Widow versus the Leopard and it was the Flamingo versus the Panda. And they were all new characters. Oh, nice. That's kind of interesting. And yes. I know the judges thought one of them sounded like Raven from That's So Raven. Is that right? Yeah, so that was the Black Widow. She sang first, and the judges actually had, like, guesses as, like, an actress from Glee, Amber Riley, or Sherry Shepard, or Nicole Brown, but the entire internet was convinced it was Raven from that Raven, and I totally agree with them. I think that'd be cool to see Raven on the show. It's kind of like a childhood <laughs> throwback. <laughs> Which one do you think um, the internet thought was RuPaul? So everybody was saying that the leopard was RuPaul. Um, it was interesting. Everybody thought the leopard was a woman. And then when they started singing, everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's a guy. Um, so they were really tall. They were really like eccentric and very, they were just very over the top. So the internet, of course, was like RuPaul. But the judges thought like maybe Billy Porter. And one of the judges is convinced it's Jamie Foxx. <laughs> I think all three of those options would be really cool. RuPaul would be nice to see on the show. Yeah, so then those two went together and they faced off and then the Black Widow won the vote on that. So then the Leopard ended up going to the final like smackdown at the end of the show. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So during the next matchup, the Flamingo sang Sucker, right? Yeah, so the Flamingo sang Sucker and she was really good. Um, judges had guesses from like Tia Maori from Tia and Tamara. Um, but the entire internet thinks it is Adrian Bob from the Cheetah Girls, which is hilarious because people also think the Black Widow is Raven Simone, so people think it's a little like Cheetah Girls reunion going on. Oh, how nice would that be? 
So that, that would be a good surprise. Yeah, so I don't know. That's what the internet's hoping for. I didn't even think that Tia and Tamara, I guess they, they can sing. I never thought of them as singers. Yeah, that's the whole fun part of the show is like you don't really know that they have such a good voice. That's so true. That's so true. Yeah. And I guess there are some big clues for the panda. Is this right? So the panda had some pretty obvious clues. They said she had like an iconic dad. They said it was kind of a famous family. The mom can cook. Um, and again, it was one of those you couldn't really tell if it was a girl or a boy. Um, and the judges end up guessing like Martha Stewart, Venus Williams, um, Ronda Rousey. One of the judges guessed Queen Latifah, which was like kind of way out. <laughs> so then the panda and the flamingo faced off and the panda ended up losing. So then the panda and the leopard ended up doing the smackdown together in the end. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a great little matchup. I think Queen Latifah would be good. She just was featured on some songs, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's trying to make like a, another comeback. That would I know. I was like, I don't know, because like Queen Latifah can really sing, and the panda was just like decently, you know, they were all right. So then it was the mashup at the end, or the smackdown at the end. Um, the panda sang, All I Do Is Win, and then the leopard sang, Respect by Aretha Franklin, but it was in a really weird voice. Um, and then <laughs> the judges voted who they wanted to say, and they voted for the leopard because, I don't know, they were a really good performer. They were really creative. So then the panda got unmasked, and this was the one where they had like the famous dad and the famous family. And it ended up being Layla Ali, um, the daughter of Muhammad Ali, the boxer. So that was a cool unmasking at the end. And that was pretty dope to see Layla Ali out there now. She's so pretty and she's so gorgeous. She looked really, really gorgeous last night too. Yeah, she was awesome. She was really fun. Um, she talked about how she was kind of shy and it was her first time really like singing and putting herself out there, but she did awesome and she killed it. So sad to see her go home, but you know, I'm impatient. So I like people getting unmasked. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Well, thank you so much, MJ. I look forward to hearing from you next week. And thanks for keeping us updated on what's going on with the Max Singer. We appreciate it. Of course. Thanks, Brad. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Time now is 848. Coming up next, we have your sports headlines. And we are announcing our Lucky Mug Club winner. Stay tuned. Closed captioning is brought to you by Miracle Ear. After your accident, go after every dollar you deserve. Call Hupy and Abraham. They got me almost $2 million. $400,000. They got me way more than the insurance company offered. They even came to my house. Tell the insurance company you mean business and put a law firm with power, experience, and resources on your side. Call Hupy and Abraham. They're win or it's free guarantee. Because a good lawyer shouldn't cost you more. They should get you more. It is a great reward when you can see people get back their lives and you can see their physical health change, you can see it in their face, you can see it in their eyes, their commitment. Treatment, it's great to see. Cellular, we heard you. You want a wireless plan that works for you. That's why we're giving you unlimited data for just $30 on a network ranked number one in network quality performance. All that and no hidden fees. So there are no surprises on your bill. That's the best value in wireless. That works for you? Get unlimited data for just $30 a month with no hidden fees. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Enjoy authentic Mexican cuisine at Mexico Classico on Broadway. Our unique recipes bring the taste of Mexico to your table. We prepare everything with the finest and freshest ingredients, including fresh guacamole, homemade tortillas, and, of course, margaritas. Stop into Mexico Classico on Broadway today. The Bears are getting one key player back for this weekend, but another will still be on the sideline. Sports director Scott Lebert has the story in your sports headlines this morning. Mitch Trubisky most likely will not start for the Bears Sunday against the Raiders. That's the word from Matt Nagy. Roquan Smith, though, looks like he will play Sunday. He practiced yesterday. Both he and Matt Nagy were again tight-lipped, though, on exactly why Smith set out last Sunday. Again, I'm going to keep going back to the, the personal side, um, and, and that's the issue that we're at right now. So we are happy that he will be full go today, and uh, it's going to be more of a day-to-day -day thing for us with him. Yeah, like Coach said, it was a um, personal reason, and uh, 
that's behind us now. So just focused on uh, getting better this week and uh, moving on to Oakland. I'm, I'm good. Uh, it was personal. Uh, it's behind me. So more so just looking forward to um, getting better today out at practice and um, going back to work with my guys. Samantha Rivera, Brittany Tulas, Hub Arkish, and I will have much more on the Bears-Raiders matchup this Sunday morning on the Bear Blitz. It's 9.30 a.m. on Fox 39 and 10 a.m. on my network TV. You know, one of the main reasons the Ice Hogs brought back Chris Versteeg was for his leadership. Now his job as team leader is official. He's been named the captain of the team. He's the Ice Hogs' first captain in three years. He was a bit overwhelmed yesterday after practice when he got the news during a team meeting. It was a pretty special moment. Uh, it's been a long time since I've ever, you know, had a letter or wore anything, and uh, I don't expect to change who I am or anything like that, but it was, uh, it was a moment I'm going to remember in hockey for a long time. Well, you might want to turn away from your television for just a few seconds, Blackhawks fans, because this was the scene in St. Louis last night. The Blues had their championship banner raised before their home opener against the Washington Capitals. Last season, the Blues won their first championship in 51 years of hockey. The Capitals spoiled the Blues night, though, by beating the Blues 3-2 in overtime. The Tampa Bay Rays won the American League wildcard game 5-1 over the Oakland A's. The Rays advanced to face the Astros. And the Cardinals and Braves will play game one of their playoff series this afternoon. That's sports. Have a great day. And now, time for our Morning Muck Club. We, of course, had tickets to this weekend's table tennis tournament in Rockford. Mm -hmm. And all you had to do was comment on our Morning Muck Club post earlier this morning and tell us what was your favorite Olympic sport to watch. And the lucky winner is Jennifer Ames. So congratulations, you won the tickets. Look out for a message from us and congratulations as well. You're headed to the Rockford's first ever Olympic trials. This weekend too. This weekend, and so you're you got getting, four tickets. Yes, that's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting. We just wanna say thank you to everybody for playing. And then we could also show you some of the comments too that were left. Yeah, absolutely. So comment on our Morning Mud Club post and tell us what your favorite Olympic sport is. Yeah, we're so curious. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with a quick weather update. And the Rams. They're off against the electrifying Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. Thursday night football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. If you're a Medicare beneficiary and live in the area, call now to see how this little card could get you some big benefits. With one toll free call, you can find out how easy it is to get all of your original Medicare coverage plus extra benefits. You get an all-in-one plan designed to fit your needs and support your total well-being, so you can be your best every day. You could have medical coverage, prescription drugs with $0 generics, comprehensive and preventive dental, vision, plus transportation to and from your doctor appointments, all in one plan. And here's more good news. You can get a well care plan for a $0 or low monthly premium. How can WellCare offer all of those benefits for a $0 or low monthly premium? It's simple. Medicare Advantage and Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage are important parts of Medicare. WellCare has a contract with Medicare to offer and provide these important options to you. Call right now to get your free copy of the WellCare All-in-One Guide. Call 1-855-225-1466 now. There is absolutely no obligation for requesting this free information. You get benefits that go beyond the basics, plus extra resources like smoking cessation and nutrition counseling. Well care goes beyond health care for a better you. Call today to get your free copy of the all-in-one guide with absolutely no obligation. Your free plan guide will give you the details you need to make a smart choice for your Medicare coverage. Just call 1-855-225-1466. Remember, there's no obligation for requesting this free information. So call 1-855-225-1466. WellCare. Beyond health care, a better you. The lawyer's responsibility is to help people. 
And that's why I became one. I began my career representing insurance companies, not individuals. I realized after four years that rather than helping people, I was helping wrongdoers and insurance companies avoid responsibility. So I returned to Rockford, joined my father, and have spent the last 23 years successfully fighting for folks who have been wrongfully hurt. We treat each case like it's our only case, and we will never back down from what is right. If you have been wrongfully hurt, call the Fabiano Law Office. Good morning, I'm Brett Brooks, and here's a look at your top stories. Rockford first responders are kept busy by a couple of car crashes on Wednesday. This was a scene at North Central and Sherman around 9.30 yesterday morning. Police say a driver was heading south on Central when they lost control. The car hit a curb and wrapped around a utility pole. You can see the rear end of the car sitting on the hood. Two people were taken inside. Both were taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Police told us one of them is in stable condition. A few hours later, around 1, a second crash happened near 11th and 15th Avenue. The driver of the silver Chevy Impala was headed east on 15th when police say they drifted into the opposite lane and hit a minivan. The van spun and slammed into a pole. There was heavy damage to the driver's side. The driver had to be cut out. Only minor injuries were reported. And now Joey's here with the final look at your forecast. Good morning, Joey. Good morning, Brett. Yeah, we've already seen a few people take off here at the Poplar Grove Airport. We are looking at drier conditions this morning after the rain moved out. Mostly cloudy skies and also getting a few peaks of sun as we're seeing a few breaks in those clouds. Temperatures right now in the upper 50s, low 60s, 60 degrees here in Rockford, 57 up in Janesville, 58 in DeKalb, 57 in Freeport, and our coolest spot remains to be Galena at 51 degrees. So here's a look at satellite and radar. You can see mostly cloudy skies after the rain moved out this morning and maybe some areas still with some patchy, dense fog this morning, but otherwise that'll burn off to a partly sunny skies by this evening. We're looking at a much drier afternoon and it could be breezy at times with a high near 62. Then tonight, 43 degrees, definitely a chilly night as we head into our Friday morning. A few passing clouds and a light breeze could cause some frosty spots by tomorrow morning. Cooling down for Friday and Saturday before drying out for the start of the work week next week. Back to you. Thank you, Joey. We'll have more of our top stories tonight on Eyewitness News at 5, where you can get your news anytime at mystateline.com. Have a great Thursday. On the next Big Bang Theory, love comes calling for Raj. Hello? Hello. What's your name? My name is Siri. <laughs> Look at that. There's finally a woman in your life you can talk to. Next Big Bang. Tonight at 6 on Fox 39. This cinnamon sugar pumpkin latte looks amazing. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I wish I were this creative. Oh, I'm not that creative. Oh, wow. Did you just carve this? I did, yeah. Try our new signature latte. It's all things pumpkin at Dunkin'. As time goes on, the world has changed. And if you have been injured in an accident, you want the law firm that is committed to the same principles as it was over 60 years ago. Since 1958, the attorneys of Tuit Law have been fighting for the rights of the injured and disabled in the Rockford area. If you have been hurt at work, in an accident, or denied disability, call us at 815-965-5777 and get to it. To it, law. They may wear a badge, but they're just like you and me, working hard every day to make the state line a better place to live. Join Eyewitness News as they introduce us to some of the area's finest. Behind the Badge, Tuesdays only on Eyewitness News. Mimi Murphy, part of your home team.